A former Farmington High School basketball coach is charged tonight with sexually assaulting two players. The district fired Jeremy Tompkins, who we've learned is also a former firefighter. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig found out this is not the first time he's been accused of preying on teenagers. Jeremy Tompkins was a basketball coach here at Farmington High and his alleged crimes took place at his home in Detroit and the district says they knew nothing about his past. What's your name, sir? Jeremy Tompkins. He's the 43 year old high school basketball coach who was fired after allegations surfaced that he sexually assaulted two students. Today he was charged and arraigned in Detroit's 36th District Court on criminal sexual conduct in the second degree and another CSC charge in the fourth degree. A reading of the investigative report. What comes to mind in reference to Mr. Tompkins is that his actions are predatory. Tompkins was a JV basketball coach here at Farmington High School, but his alleged crimes involving the students took place at his townhouse in Detroit, where prosecutors say he sexually assaulted a 15-year-old Farmington Hills boy and a 16-year-old from Oak Park. He is not to have contact with any minor children, whether they come over to his house or not. He's not to let them in. No contact with minor children, period. First of all, staff should not be inviting students over to their homes. That's a no. Action News has been digging into Jeremy Tompkins' past, which includes a drunk driving conviction from just two years ago in Canton. Then there's a case from 15 years ago in Detroit where Tompkins was charged with three counts of criminal sexual conduct in the fourth degree, which is defined as force or coercion. Detroit police say it involved a 17-year-old and Tom Tompkins was his weight trainer. It was a bench trial and a judge found Tompkins not guilty. Today we talked to the father of a Farmington High School student who did not want us to show his face. I don't know what type of background checks they do, but hopefully they would have caught that or hopefully it would have been a red flag for him. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a concern right there. I asked the spokesperson for Farmington Schools if they were even aware of the 2008 CSC case that was dismissed. They said no, and that their background check, which involves fingerprints, did not reveal anything. Jeremy Tompkins has now been terminated based on the new allegations and at his arraignment today, given a personal bond. I think it's awful, and my child doesn't want to participate in any sports up here because of that. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Okay.